Welcome to a new video. Today's tutorial will show you how to repair various Audi Jaeger and Magneti Marelli dashboard models using Minitools Part SEP the ISP36. For this repair, you will need the tools listed below. Position the dashboard as shown and unscrew the gold screws using a torque screwdriver. Use the spudger to remove the front part of the dashboard. Then release the plastic backing using the tweezers. To remove the fuel and water temperature gauges, insert the protective disc and lift up each pointer using the spudger to remove. Remove the rev counter and speedometer pointers by turning and pulling gently. Remove the speedometer and rev counter motors by inserting the tweezers into the side holes and squeezing together to release the plastic covers from the underlying clips. Release the smaller motors using a tool with curved tip, as shown. Remove the metal frames from both side display. Undo the various plastic clips to release the board. The reset key has to be removed, the front part, the rubber pad, and then the rear part. Release the display as shown. Note the position of the original flat and desolder it using a hot air desoldering station. Use a soldering iron with a chisel tip and desoldering braid to remove residual solder. Clean with solvent. Position the PCB of the new display as it was on the original display, leaving a 1 mm gap as shown. Use a soldering iron to attach the PCB at several points, then solder pin by pin. Clean with solvent. Check you have carefully soldered each contact. Remove the protective fill from both sides of the display and insert the flat into the PCB connector. Position the new display as shown. Fold the flat underneath the LCD to stop them getting damaged when you close the dashboard. Refit the button and the white plastic base with face gauges and secure. Fit the motors. Position the speedometer and rev counter pointers turning them anti-clockwise. Switch on the dashboard. Fit the water temperature and fuel gauge pointers in their original positions. Close up the dashboard and tighten the screws. Perfetto! Problem solved! 
Go to the online store at minitools.com to find a wide range of parts and tools for doing these repairs. Thank you for choosing Minitools.